there are a lot more weird and diverse and bespoke cell types in the steering subsystem, basically, than there are in the learning subsystem. Like the cortical cell types, there's enough to build, it seems like there's enough to build a learning algorithm up there and specify some hyperparameters. And in the in the steering subsystem, there's like a gazillion, you know, thousands of really weird cells, which might be like the one for the spider flinch reflex and the one for I'm about to taste salt. And Sorry, the one. but why would um each reward function need a different cell type? Well, so this is where you get innately wired circuits, right? So in the in the learning algorithm part in this in the learning learning subsystem, um, you set up specify the initial architecture. You specify a learning algorithm. Is all all the all the all the juice is is happening through plasticity of the synapses, changes of the synapses within that big network. But it's kind of like a relatively repeating architecture um, how it's initialized. It's just like um, the amount of Python code needed to make you know. A eight layer transformer is not that different from one right. that makes a three layer transformer, right? You're just replicating. Yeah. Whereas all this Python code for the reward function, you know, if superior click list sees something that's skittering and it lands, yeah. you know, you're feeling goosebumps on your skin or whatever, then trigger spider reflex. That's just a bunch of like bespoke species specific mm. uh, situation specific crap. That no, the cortex doesn't know about spiders. It just knows about layers and right. And, but but, and but you're saying that the, the the only way to have this like write this reward function yeah is to have a special cell type yeah okay. yeah. Well, I think so. I think you either have to have a special cell types or you have to somehow somehow otherwise get special wiring rules that evolution can say this neuron needs to wire to this neuron without wow. any learning. And the way that that is most likely to happen, I think, is that those cells express like different receptors and proteins that say, okay, when this one comes in contact with this one, let's form a synapse. This, um, uh, so it's genetic wiring. Um, yeah, uh, and, and those need cell types to do it, yeah. I'm sure this would make a lot more sense if I knew 101 neuroscience, but like, it seems like there's still a lot of complexity or generality rather in the steering subsystem. So if the steering subsystem has its own visual uh, yeah. system that's separate from the visual cortex, yeah. different features still need to plug into that vision system. In the So like the spider thing needs to plug into it and yes. also the, um, the uh, love thing needs to plug into it, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. So... It seems complicated. Like I know it's, like should... it's still complicated. And that's that's all the more reason why a lot of the genomic, you know, real estate in the genome and in terms of these different cell types and so on would go into wiring up the steering subsystem. And can we tell uh, pre-wiring it? Can we yeah. tell how much of the genome is like clearly working? So I guess you could tell how many are relevant to the producing the RNA that that manifest uh, or the epigenetics that right. manifest in different cell types in the brain, right? Yeah, this is what the cell types helps you get at it. Okay. I don't think I don't think it's exactly like oh, this percent of the genome is doing this, but you could say okay, in these all these steering subsystems and subtypes, you know, how many different genes are involved in sort of specifying which is which and how they wire, um, and how much genomic real estate do those genes take up um, versus the ones that specify you know, visual cortex versus audio, auditory cortex, you kind of are just reusing the same genes to do That's the right. same thing twice. Whereas the spider reflex hooking up, yes, you're right. They have to they have to build a vision system and they have to build some auditory systems and touch systems and navigation type systems. So, you know, the, even feeding into the hippocampus and stuff like that, there's head direction cells. Even the fly brain, it has innate circuits yeah. that, you know, figure out its orientation and help it navigate in the world and it uses vision figure out optical flow of, of how it's flying and you know uh how is it how is its flight related to the wind direction it has all these innate stuff that i think we in the mammal brain we would all put that and lump that into the steering subsystem so there's a lot of work so all the genes basically that go into specifying all the things a fly has to do we're going to have stuff like that too just all in the steering subsystem if you enjoyed this clip you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips thanks <laughs>